caused the problem of climate change in the first place, who geoengineered us into this problem in the first place, are now saying, trust us, we'll geoengineer you out of it again. And I just don't trust them. I just don't think that's true. I can't believe that governments who don't have the intelligence or the integrity to tell their own populations that there's a problem here with climate change, who haven't had the guts to address the issues around the Kyoto Protocol, even that, are actually going to have the integrity or the intelligence to geoengineer the planet in a safe way. For sure, all of the major energy companies find it very attractive. They're, they're investing in it. Uh, the, uh, all the transportation companies find it attractive. The major polluters want geoengineering. It's a, it's a, it doesn't work, that's okay, but they bought themselves time. It gives them an excuse for not doing anything for another decade or another 20 years. Oil culture has given us climate change. And if we continue on that same paradigm, the only next step is eco-imperialism grab what remains of the resources of the poor and take it to create insularity and a false defense and security because the planet is interconnected, our lives are interconnected, the rich cannot isolate themselves in islands okay, of defense this, against this a planetary color instability. Color. If we get these orange colors in a concentrated area, it's likely that we'll have an earthquake. I have seen these orange concentrated areas. These are more spread out, so I think it's more of a reflection from the sun. If we, if we see this orange concentrated area in one area more than others, it's likely we'll have an earthquake. So this area here is more spread out. These colors are more spread out, so it's likely to be from the sun. you can see that there are sort of layers to these clouds. See the layers. See the lines, lines here line gaps here gaps in the lines is what they are this and then back here in the distance we can see a line over the coast as well so this indicates to me an artificial uh, cloud bank these are artificial clouds we've had this we haven't had any sun uh, pretty much all day it's been overcast like this these clouds are moving south they're moving south yeah they're mainly moving uh, due south it appears south southeast they're moving southeast at this point so they're moving inland a little bit And then here we see, this is, that could be part of a radio frequency broadcast that is controlling the sprayed particulates, like metal filings under the control of a magnet. They can push or pull the sprayed materials in the, anywhere they want to. So they all they also now have crystalline weaponized bacteria they can put in the sprays to produce epidemics, outbreaks, etc.